here I am. See, because I am half dead, hunted by the government. I just wrote a message to uh, some people who I gave them money, tried to help them, tried to warn them, tried to protect them, and they spat in my face, trashed on me, laughed about it, thought it was funny. Well, I take a bullet for them, as everyone does. <coughs> but something else just happened. Really fucking pisses me off even more. I can only be outside at night times. I have to hide in places all over the place. My, my safest during the darkest hours. Where I can go on the move. That means if you want to get something to eat, if my body can even digest it because I'm half dead. I have to go to places that are open like service stations and the like. I went to one this morning in, to get a coffee to prepare because to, I've been up all night doing shit to prepare for another day of potential raids and shit like this. Where, you know, I'm getting, like, I, I, the government repeatedly trying to contact me yesterday. I've been, they've been told to fuck off. The only thing I, only I, I want to hear is to see a public announcement, they've, they've all been all been arrested, dead or alive. That they've all been taken out, dead or alive. Through all the evidence that I put up. So I need to prepare, and my body's not working. I'm half dead. So I go to the service station, try to go try to get a coffee and a pie. To keep me alive, another day. Prepare this morning. And I see a coffee. Two for six dollars. All right, I'll get them. I'll get two of them instead of I'll just instead of getting a normal a coffee that I would normally get. I'll get two of these coffees, two for six dollars. Big sign out the front, uh, 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 right in front of it all. Two for six dollars. I'll get that. Get a pie, four dollars, ten dollars. All right, hand him ten, hand the hand the dude ten dollars. That's eleven dollars. No, it's 10, dude. Must have been a misunderstanding. It's 10, dude. No, it's 11. No, it's 10. It's 2 for $6. Then he starts... Blah, 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 don't understand the word he's saying. So look, it's 2 for... It's, the pie's $4. The two coffees are 2 for $6. He's like, no, no. Yeah, look, the sign's right up there. No, no, it isn't. Well, okay, well, let's go up there and have a look. Went up there and have a look. He walks straight past the sign, points to the sign next door to it, one for three dollars fifty. Dude, right next to it, two for six dollars. I'm not getting one, I'm getting two. Two for six, do you see it? He walks away, pretends not to see it. Insists, he, he just, just making up lie on top of lie, fucking around, just for, for, just for a fucking dollar. But he keeps lying. He's fucking lying, and lying, and lying, and lying. I'm like, dude, did you, yes, simple yes or no question. Does it say two for six dollars? And he's like weaseling out of it, weaseling out of it, weaseling out of it. Just fucking around, trying to rip me off a dollar. Really? All this effort for a fucking dollar to rip me off, yeah? Lie on top of lie on top of lie. So I turned around and I said to everyone in the store, because it's in the morning, a lot of people starting to uh, get all their coffees in the morning, I said, look, does anyone care that I'm being ripped off here? Look, you, you see you see what just happened? He's, he's trying to rip me off a dollar. The sign's right there. Two for six dollars. He's, he's just, he's trying to fucking rip me off. Does anyone here care about that? They'll, and guess what? Remember, I don't exist. Most of the time. There's a small amount of the time where I do exist, and that's only temporary, and it's only long enough for people to trash on me. So everyone in the store pretends it never happens. And they wonder why the world's fucked. People, yeah, this shit happens in, right in front of you and worse and don't care don't fucking care never happened pretend it never fucking happened but one dude did speak the dude behind me he's like I don't care I just want to get my coffee and coffee and, and go to work uh, hurry up and get out of the way that the only response and you wonder why the world's fucked this is in every fucking corner I like to say where I come from, things are better. Unfortunately, I come from a place far, far, far away, and things were not exactly better either. 
But, uh... I then went to a place for a long time. Where things were better. Where politics was... People trusted politicians and shit where I came from, where I came from before this. Completely different world, literally. And there were, there were problems. On a larger scale, big problems, massive problems. But, when it come to... You know, people doing the right thing. You just do the right thing. It's a normal thing to do. You should, you should be expected to do. You don't get a reward for it. You don't get recognition. You just, you just do the fucking right thing. Above it, just a minimum standard. And look at this world here. And I, I compare the most, like, hated animals, like, like crocodiles and spiders and shit like that. They're not this bad. They, they, for the large part, don't understand uh, what they're doing. They just, they're just trying to survive. They've got no ill will towards anyone about it, but sometimes they do. And some animals are assholes. It's a part of how evolution works. The good comes with the bad. You branch out in different directions. You get all kinds of shit that works and doesn't work, for better or worse. But nothing, nothing takes a cake. Like your average human. And I'm, to, I'm not just talking about one race here. Some definitely worse than others. I'm talking about fucking everyone. The best of mankind falls far below the minimum standard. And the, and the humans I used to know a long time ago. Some of them were just violent savages. They didn't understand technology or anything yet. That was a long time ago. And they you know, the beginnings of this corrupt shit. I could see it. Growing everywhere. And then I found this one group of people who weren't like that. And they treated me like a normal person. Like one of them. And they banded together. And they looked after each other, each other because everyone else was fucking cannibalizing them. Not picking on these people because they didn't fight back. They just wanted to, wanted to keep to themselves. While everyone else was just invading and, and, and cannibalizing each other. Only a small number of them survived. Tried to keep them alive. Made a promise to myself to look after him no matter what. Protect him from the others. And from someone else. But everyone. I, I can't believe that the evil shit I'm seeing fucking everywhere. I'll give you another story. When I had a heart attack recently. Months ago. From the injuries that I'm trying to keep alive. Sustain my life from. Where I can't even kind of get, a, get a coffee or a pie to keep myself alive another day. To, for another fucking government attack and shit. <laughs> I've just shit that up yesterday. <coughs> I had a heart attack. I'm on the run. The government's surrounded my home 24 7 for a week. I can't even go near my home to go in and out to grab anything. I'm, I'm on the run. I've got, I had a tent. My tent got stolen. Yeah, my tent got fucking stolen too. But, uh, well, I had the tent. Hiding out in the bush. I had to move it around. Well, here's the reason why. One position I had it in, it was in the bush. There was a, there was a shop nearby, a car sales yard. I'm in the bushes, the car sales yard near. You can kind of see it if you go, you know, if you look out in the corner. You might be able to just see a bit of the the colour of it. So the, the dude, the guard, he's got nothing to do all day, and this is in the lockdowns and shit. They got nothing to guard. There's no one around, but they've got a guard, guarding all the cars. He's got nothing, mustn't have nothing else better to do all day. So you see, you see someone who's in a tent, and they're not looking too well, and uh, they're all by themselves, probably homeless or whatever. What do you, how do you, if you see a homeless person, what do you do, and what don't you do? Does he, does he say, hey, hey pal, you need some help? Need a hand? No, no, no. He walks around staring at me. Gets his phone out. Calls the cops. Get rid of this guy. Take him out. Fuck him off. He's not in anyone's way, but... There's this homeless dude in the bush. Fuck him off, will ya? Come get him. So I had to literally crawl. With the tent. <coughs> Half dead. <coughs> After having a heart attack. On the run. And the security guard. Tries to do me in. 
you're supposed to fuck homeless people. What, what? Why are they? Sometimes people choose to be homeless, but major, but majority of the time, why are they homeless people to begin with? Why are they people living in the street to begin with? And why do you put up with that shit? I'm not talking about the minority of people who, for better or worse, choose choose that. I'm talking about people who have been wronged, have been ki- been kicked out of the homes, and all this kind of stuff. Or they're on the run like me, as a as a whistleblower and a fugitive without a crime. And what do you all do? You're, you're like a fucking bunch of vampires, scavengers, vultures. Someone, someone's beat. It's like the story of the Good Samaritan, but it's worse. You don't just walk on by and uh and say, "Oh, oh, someone else will have to help me. I've got more important shit to do." No, no. What you all do is you fucking join in. You go up to the you go up to the diet guy who's unconscious in the gutter. You kick him a few times, see he's still alive, and you kick him and li- and giggle. And then you try and mug him to see if he's got any wallet, any money left in his wallet or whatever. And then you walk on by, and then maybe you come by every day and you kick him again and giggle. This is the kind of fucking sickos you all are. It's fucking disgusting. And the what makes it worse is it, is most of you go around pretending that you're not. It's one thing if you're an evil piece of shit and you admit it. I don't even have a problem with that. I actually appreciate that to a, to, in, in certain ways. But you're all fucking liars and hypocrites. You, you do the worst fucking evil, disgusting shit. And then you go around pretending you're some kind of fucking hero or, or a good person. And you try to sneak under the radar by pretending to be all passive and harmless. Wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, you got a dagger behind your back. Spending all day, every day, conspiring to fuck people over. Like a scavenger trying to trying to take whatever you can fucking get. You know, it, it's bad enough that today, that someone tried to go above and beyond just to rip me off a few fucking cents. We'll be back. So I'm going to resync my avatar. I'll just leave this in the recording. I had to... Come on. Fuck, I'm so d- disfigured beyond this dude here that you can't even fucking... Can't even grab my head. Can't even face recognize me. I just had to go check to see if I was going to get raided again. This is what I have to live every moment every day. This shit kind of happens everywhere I go. But hey, no, I'm the one that you want to gaslight and attack and laugh about and mock and, and trash on. And then... When it happens to you, when something happens to you, you squeal like fucking piggies. And you expect the world to rise up and save you. Where is the, where is the superheroes going to save me? Oh, well, you, you killed all the superheroes yourself. That superhero took a bullet for you, and he's lying in the gutter, and you, you, you're the one who kicked him and mugged him. He's dead because of you. And then you expect a super, some superhero to save you. It fucking sickens me. The hypocrisy. All right, look, evil that, admit, that admits what it is. That it knows that something's wrong, and it's 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 for whatever reason it's exploring some kind of fucked up path. I don't agree with it, but I don't have a problem with it so long as it doesn't fuck with the innocent and vulnerable. But hypocrisy, the lies and hypocrisy, that is the greatest evil. It's fucking despicable, and you know what? The most violent, destructive evil of all creation is in agreement with the best of things. They don't disagree on everything. The worst of the worst and the best of the best are actually in agreement with a lot of things. And one of those things is that they both hate, not each other, but they hate most of all, not each other, but liars and hypocrites. 
you're the battleground between good and evil. And both sides want you gone. I'm the only one who intervened to give you a chance. And look what you fucking do to me. Fucking pathetic. 